cousins and I decided that it would be an interesting thing to do to set out a lobster trap at night with a camera and a light and just kind of see what happened. So we took our little skiff out, got the camera ready, got the light ready, got everything positioned in the trap, set the trap overboard at dusk, came back the next day and picked up the video camera and hoped that we had caught something on video and sure enough we did. So as you can see, the amphipods are attracted to the bait bag, but probably more attracted to the light. The light is something that's unnatural for the amphipods. And, uh, another thing that entered the trap while this was going on was a smelt, either attracted by the light or by the bait bag, or, or both potentially. But the smelt swims right in, swims right back out. And actually here's the lobster coming right into the trap, crawling right in through the side heads and starting to feast on the herring that is in that big bait bag. The bait bag is full of herring, and that's what attracts the lobsters into the trap. Some people like to think that lobstermen are actually farming lobsters with all the herring bait that they put in traps. You can see the lobster moving around on top of the bait bag, trying to get into the best feeding position possible. Looks like it's a pretty hungry lobster based on how much it's moving around. Looks like it's a female as well moving around, moving around, trying to get the best position to feed. And what's going to come up pretty soon in this video is the worst nightmare of any lobsterman up and down the main coast. The lobster has made its way into the trap, is feeding away, which is the idea of a lobster trap. The lobster is supposed to come into the trap, feed, and then get trapped inside the trap. But as you'll see any second now, something spooks this lobster. And what it was, we're still not sure. But all of a sudden, the lobster gets spooked by something. Up, oh, there it goes. And then it crawls right back out the trap. So after crawling into the trap and feeding, the lobster was able to get right back out of the trap. So a lobsterman who hauled this trap, after setting it, would expect that no lobsters entered the trap while it was, while it was on the bottom. When in fact, at least one lobster that we caught on video came right in the trap, got a free meal, and took right off. And that was the last we saw of him.